Welcome to a journey at the crossroads of the mysterious and the profound. Today, we delve into a question that sits at the very edge of science and philosophy. Does the human brain, the most complex organ known to us, operate using principles of quantum mechanics? This isn't just a question about neuroscience. It's a question that challenges our very understanding of reality. Quantum mechanics, a theory that has revolutionized physics, operates on rules that defy our everyday experience. It speaks of probabilities, superpositions, and entanglements in the microscopic world of atoms and particles. But what if these strange and counterintuitive principles are also at play within the intricate workings of our brain? Could understanding this connection unravel the mysteries of consciousness, memory, and thought itself? In this exploration, we will venture into the depths of both the human mind and the heart of quantum theory. We will explore the current research and theories that seek to bridge the gap between the brain's complex functions and the enigmatic world of quantum phenomena. So, brace yourself for a thought-provoking exploration that may change how you perceive the brain, consciousness, and the very fabric of reality. Join us as we unravel the question, does the brain use quantum effects? Before diving into the complex interplay between quantum mechanics and the human brain, let's first demystify some fundamental concepts of quantum physics. This is a world far removed from our everyday experiences, governed by rules that are anything but intuitive. At its core, quantum mechanics deals with the behavior of the smallest particles in the universe, things like electrons, photons, and atoms. One of the key principles here is quantum superposition. It's the idea that a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously, like being in two places at once, until it is observed or measured. This is akin to Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment where a cat in a box is both alive and dead until the box is opened. Then there's quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance. In entanglement, two particles become linked and the state of one instantly influences the other no matter how far apart they are. This challenges our classical ideas of space and causality. Another concept is quantum tunneling, where particles can pass through barriers that, according to classical physics, should be impenetrable. This tunneling is not just a theoretical curiosity, it's the principle behind the working of devices like the MRI machine. The rules of quantum mechanics are fundamentally probabilistic. Unlike the deterministic laws of classical physics, Quantum physics deals with probabilities. An electron's location around a nucleus, for instance, is described not in terms of a defined path, but as a probability cloud. These concepts, superposition, entanglement, tunneling, and the inherent uncertainty and probability in quantum states are the building blocks of quantum mechanics. While they might seem abstract and distant from the tangible reality of our daily lives, they are the very principles that govern the microscopic world. And as we'll explore next, these principles might just be at work in the most complex structure we know, the human brain. Having glimpsed the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics, let's now turn our attention to the human brain, a marvel of nature and perhaps the most complex structure in the known universe. Understanding the brain has been a long-standing challenge, one traditionally approached through the lens of classical physics and biology. At its most basic, the brain is a network of neurons, billions of them, each connected to thousands of others. This intricate web forms the basis of all our thoughts, emotions, memories, and behaviors. When we think, feel, or remember what's actually happening is a series of electrical impulses traveling through this network, a process governed by the laws of classical electrodynamics. These electrical signals are accompanied by chemical processes. Neurotransmitters bridge the gaps between neurons, facilitating communication within this vast network. This delicate interplay of electrical and chemical signals is the basis of all neural activity, from the simple reflex to the complexities of consciousness. The classical view of the brain has provided us with invaluable insights. It has led to advancements in medical science, from the treatment of neurological disorders to the development of brain-computer interfaces. However, this perspective also has its limitations, especially when it comes to explaining higher-order processes like consciousness, self-awareness, and the qualia, or the subjective experience of perception. Some scientists and philosophers argue that these aspects of the mind might involve processes that go beyond classical physics. They suggest that to fully understand the brain, we might need to look to the quantum world where the unusual and the unexplained are the norm. As we delve deeper into this possibility, 
we confront a fundamental question. Can the strange principles of quantum mechanics, which govern the microscopic world, also play a role in the complex workings of the human brain? This question challenges our classical understanding and opens the door to a fascinating and uncharted territory of science. As we bridge the realms of the vast and the minuscule, of the brain and the quantum world, we enter the fascinating domain of quantum biology. This emerging field of science explores the possibility that quantum mechanics isn't just a theory for particles and atoms, but might also play a role in the biological processes of living organisms. Quantum biology seeks to understand how life navigates the quantum world. Unlike the straightforward and predictable laws of classical biology, quantum biology deals with the probabilities and uncertainties inherent in quantum mechanics. It's an exploration of how life might harness these quantum properties for its advantage. One of the most well-known examples of quantum effects in biology is photosynthesis in plants. Recent studies suggest that plants might use a quantum phenomenon known as quantum coherence to achieve almost 100% efficiency in transporting energy from sunlight. Similarly, the ability of birds to navigate using Earth's magnetic field is another instance where quantum entanglement is thought to play a crucial role. These examples provide a glimpse into how quantum mechanics could be at work in the biological world. Raising the question, could similar quantum processes be happening within our brains? The idea is tantalizing and suggests a whole new way of understanding biological functions. In the context of the brain, quantum biology could offer explanations for phenomena that have long baffled scientists. Could quantum effects be the key to understanding how neurons communicate on a level beyond classical electrical and chemical signals? Might they offer insights into the enigmatic nature of consciousness? memory formation, or even the mysterious gut feeling. While quantum biology is still in its infancy, its potential implications are profound. It challenges the traditional boundaries between physics and biology and opens up a world of possibilities for understanding life itself in a new light. As we continue to explore this frontier, we edge closer to unraveling some of the deepest mysteries of both the quantum world and the inner workings of our minds. As we venture deeper into the uncharted territories of the mind and quantum mechanics, we encounter theories that daringly propose a connection between the two. These theories, still in the realm of scientific speculation, suggest that quantum mechanics might play a crucial role in brain function and consciousness. Central to this discussion is the Orchestrated Objective Reduction Theory, or ORCH-OR, developed by physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff. They propose that consciousness arises from quantum processes within the brain's microtubules. Microtubules are components of the cell's structural framework and, according to Orch Or, could be the site of quantum computation in the brain. Penrose and Hameroff suggest that these quantum computations in microtubules are orchestrated by synaptic inputs and terminated by objective reduction, resulting in moments of conscious awareness. The Orch Or theory is groundbreaking for several reasons. It combines elements of neuroscience, quantum physics, and philosophy to explain the enigmatic phenomenon of consciousness. It suggests that the brain functions more like a quantum computer than a classical one, utilizing the principles of superposition and entanglement. However, this theory is not without its critics. Some scientists argue that the warm, wet, and noisy environment of the brain is inhospitable to quantum phenomena, which are typically observed under highly controlled conditions at near absolute zero temperatures. They also question the plausibility of quantum processes playing a significant role in something as complex as consciousness. Despite the skepticism, these ideas have spurred a wave of research and debate. Other theories also explore the potential role of quantum mechanics in brain function, looking at aspects like quantum coherence and tunneling in neural processes. These explorations into the quantum brain are more than just scientific curiosity. They represent a paradigm shift in how we understand the brain and consciousness. If proven true, the implications would be far-reaching, impacting fields from artificial intelligence to philosophy. As research continues, these theories open new doors and challenge us to rethink the very nature of our minds and the mysterious quantum world. In the quest to unravel the mysteries of the quantum brain, scientists worldwide are conducting cutting-edge research and experiments. These endeavors aim to shed light on whether quantum effects truly play a role in brain function and consciousness. One area of research focuses on identifying quantum coherence in biological systems. Coherence, a state where particles are linked in a wave-like pattern, 
could be key to understanding how quantum effects might occur in the brain. Scientists are using advanced imaging and spectroscopy techniques to detect signs of quantum coherence in proteins and other biological molecules under physiological conditions. Another exciting avenue is the study of neurotransmitters and their receptors. Some researchers hypothesize that these chemical messengers might exhibit quantum tunneling, allowing them to pass through cell membranes in ways that classical physics cannot fully explain. Experiments using quantum chemistry and molecular simulations are underway to explore this hypothesis. The field of quantum neurobiology is also looking at the role of quantum effects in neural processing. Experiments using magnetic resonance and other techniques are attempting to observe quantum entanglement in neural networks. While definitive evidence remains elusive, these studies are crucial in understanding the complex dynamics of the brain. In addition to laboratory experiments, theoretical physicists and neuroscientists are collaborating to develop mathematical models that incorporate quantum mechanics into brain processes. These models aim to provide a framework for understanding how quantum phenomena could influence neural activity, learning, and memory. The challenge in this research lies in the fact that quantum effects are typically observed at extremely small scales and low temperatures, conditions vastly different from the warm biological environment of the brain. This has led to innovative experimental designs and the development of new tools and techniques. As we continue to probe the depths of the brain with the tools of quantum physics, we stand at the forefront of a potentially revolutionary understanding of consciousness and cognition. The results of these experiments and the development of these theories may not only answer the question of whether the brain uses quantum effects, but also redefine our understanding of what it means to think, to perceive, and to be conscious. As we ponder the intriguing intersections of quantum mechanics and brain function, it's important to consider the broader implications and the future directions of this groundbreaking research. The potential findings in this field could revolutionize not just our understanding of the brain, but also our approach to numerous other disciplines. If quantum effects are indeed integral to brain function, this could open new pathways in the development of quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Quantum computers, with their ability to exist in multiple states simultaneously, could potentially model the human brain's functioning more accurately than classical computers. This could lead to advancements in creating more sophisticated and efficient AI systems, possibly even leading to AI that mimics human consciousness. In the realm of medicine, understanding the quantum aspects of the brain could transform the treatment of neurological disorders. It might offer new insights into the workings of diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, leading to more effective treatments or even preventative strategies. Additionally, quantum biology could pave the way for novel therapeutic techniques, such as targeted drug delivery using quantum tunneling. The philosophical implications are equally profound. Quantum brain theories could provide fresh perspectives on age-old questions about the nature of consciousness, free will, and the mind-body problem. These theories might help bridge the gap between the physical processes of the brain and the subjective experience of consciousness, offering a more complete picture of what it means to be conscious. Looking to the future, the field of quantum neurobiology is ripe for exploration. As technology advances, new tools and methods will enable more precise and in-depth studies. We may see collaborations across disciplines, from physics to neurology to philosophy, each contributing unique insights into this complex puzzle. Ultimately, the journey to understand if and how the brain uses quantum effects is more than a scientific endeavor. It's a quest that touches the very core of our understanding of life, consciousness, and the universe. As we stand at the cusp of these potential discoveries, we look forward to a future where the mysteries of the quantum brain are unraveled, offering us a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. As our exploration of the intriguing question, does the brain use quantum effects, comes to a close, we are left with a profound appreciation of both the complexities of the human brain and the mystifying world of quantum mechanics. This journey has taken us through the fundamentals of quantum theory, the intricate workings of the brain, and the pioneering theories and research at their intersection. While definitive answers may still elude us, the pursuit of understanding the quantum brain opens up a world of possibilities and questions. It challenges us to think beyond the boundaries of conventional science, to explore the unknown, and to contemplate the profound implications of such a discovery. The intersection of quantum mechanics and neuroscience is more than a scientific inquiry. 
It's a venture into the depths of human understanding. It reflects our enduring quest to comprehend the nature of consciousness and the very essence of what makes us human. As research continues and theories evolve, each step forward adds a piece to this grand puzzle. The journey of discovery is ongoing, and with each new finding, we edge closer to unraveling one of the greatest mysteries of science and human existence. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration. May this journey inspire you to look at the world with wonder and to continue asking questions, for it is in our nature to explore, to learn, and to understand the universe and ourselves.